Hello and welcome to the fifth Java programming video. In this video I'm going to show you how to use loops. Basically a loop is something that will repeat itself over and over until you tell it to stop. And I'm going to show you three different kinds of loops. The first one is a while loop, pretty simple. The second one is a for loop which is a bit more complex and the third one is a do while loop. So we're going to start by using a while loop. First of all, I'm going to initialize an an int i and set it to zero. And now I'm going to create the while loop. This is how you do it: while, and then a condition. For example, if something is true or something else, you can you can compare it to an if statement. So I'm going to do this: if i is less than ten. So as long as i is less than 10, you're going to do everything in here, and it won't stop until it reaches 10. And each time I'm going to print out, print out the variable i. And after every successful repeat, we're going to increase i by 1, and thereby we can actually stop it, because it will keep on increasing all the way up to 10, and it will stop the loop. So we're going to try this now. run it and bring up the console. Sorry, I actually created an object out of our if statements class. It's going to change this into the name of our current class which is loops and it goes to new loops and now I'm going to run it. As you can see it types out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and even 0 and it doesn't type out 10 because when it actually reaches 10, 10 is not less than 10, so this will not be run. So that is how one while loop works. I'm now going to show you a for loop. Just going to comment this part out. And if you're wondering how I did that, you all just hold in control and then press 7. And this is how you create a for loop. You type 4, and then you create an and initialize and variable that you want to use inside the loop, for example int j or we can just use i int i and then you set it to something for example equals to 10 and then the condition for example like a condition that we have in our while loop as long as i is more than 0 and then how you want to change the variable for example in every run I'm going to change it by taking minus 1 that's how. That's what this means i++ plus plus will be increased by 1 and i minus minus is decrease it by 1 you could also do something like this i minus equal to 2 and you would decrease it by 2 we just want to decrease it by 1 so every time this happens we're going to tab out the value of our i, i variable. And you will see it will start at 10, since we set it to 10 at first, and then it will go through the loop once, and it will go up over here, we will decrease it by 1, check if it, it is more than 0, and if it is, we will do this, and then it will become 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all the way to 1, all the way to 1, all the way to 1, and then when we come up here again, we will decrease it and it will become 0. And 0 is not more than 0, so we will just skip this part and move on with the code. And there is also one more way to break a loop. You can just use a break statement like this, and it will break the loop completely. But it will actually give us an error because we will never reach this code. Instead I'm going to show you a way to use it. For example, you can check if i is equal to 5. And if, if it is, you can actually break the loop like this. So that was a for loop and a while loop. I'm now going to show you the do while loop. It pretty much functions the same way as a while loop. You just did this, you type do, and then two brackets for whatever code you want inside while, for example, i less than 10. So 
as you can see it pretty much works the same way but you type out the code over here so yeah that was pretty much it for while loops and for loops with the help of a while loop you can actually start creating a functioning program because when you reach the end of the code it will just rip go up to the top again and it can check for new input or whatever until you of course decide to break it and exit the program so yeah this was pretty much it for loops I showed you three different kinds a while loop and a for loop which, a bit, which is a bit more complex and we're going to use that one the most for arrays and also showed you a do while loop which we're pretty much not going to use at all so yeah that was all for this video hope you enjoyed it if you liked my video, please subscribe to the channel and give the videos a thumbs up. It would really help a lot and maybe even share them. Hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.